guys and welcome back once again to the channel my name is Chris Olmy and today we're getting back in to Football Manager 2016 so this is our Catania save this is El Fantastico and yeah this is this is our second season now if you'd watched the previous videos you know that Despite an 11 point deduction, we got promoted from Saria CC. We really overachieved, we excelled, and I'm really proud of that first season. And I did have some job offers elsewhere. I actually had one fairly decent sized club in uh, Serie A, which was uh, Sassulo, who were looking to replace their manager i don't know whether they actually sacked their manager or not that one did happen though and juventus i believe were without the manager um so i was tempted to apply for that but ultimately my job's not done here yeah we're up into Serie b it's still a level below where a club like catania should be and really i'm looking for a Serie A team that's competing in upper mid table, you know, to the European places, and maybe eventually even fighting for the title, going into Europe, proving something there. You know, the three year plan is to get into Serie A. Um, the five year plan is to, like, get near the top of the table. The 10 year plan is to get into Europe consistently and challenging for the title consistently. So we're just one year in and we'll, you know, we're on course, we're on pace, everything like that. It's all pretty good. Now, what I have done is um, played through to the first game of the season. You can see our first game in Serie B is against AS Bari, who are they're not a small team. They are a decent sized team. So we'll take a look at the table. Empoli Pescara have drawn one all in the season opener, so they're first and second. Ascoli, Avellino, Bari, Carpi, Catania, Cesena, Cittadella, Crotone, uh, Genoa, Lanciano, Latina, Livorno, Modena, Perugia, or Perugia, uh, Podenone, Provaselli, Siena, Spezia, Vicenza, and Virtus and uh, sorry Virtus and Teller. So a few small clubs, a few big clubs. Like we said preseason, Genoa is the big dog in the league. Uh, they are the favourites. We are, I think we're slated to finish somewhere mid table, sort of a uh, seventh to twelfth. So it's not going to be too bad a season if we can finish round about where we are now up into that seventh place with an eye on top six now we did earn a bit of money you can see the finances are a lot better than they were the transfer revenue has gone up and up we went from 40 percent to 60 percent 75 and in the last day or two it's actually gone up to 85 percent so i'm really happy with that um we have got a transfer budget due to one transfer we will take you through that in a moment and the wage budget is really high because i decided to pump most of the transfer budget into that so let us start then with the transfers what's going on at the moment well we got some players going out on loan uh terracciano is going out as well you know we're still waiting for him to go he's got another year before he leaves i thought it was this summer it's actually next summer uh, Murillo, he will come in in about four months' time. Let's just refresh people's memory. The Portuguese Colombian striker with good finishing. I wonder if we actually. No, we, we still can't scout him. We did get a brief scout on him. Uh, I think that was through a bug in the game, though. And he's come recommended by a good scout. So, for a free transfer and with that striking potential he could have. That is really good. We're also going after Seiko Fafana on a free because I think his passing might be on the high side and the first touch as well. Um, I'm really hoping he's got like 12s everywhere. That's kind of where I think he has. So 21-year-old to be another defensive central midfielder 
and I'm just waiting for that one to be done. So they're all coming in. We look at our transfer history for this season. A lot of transfers out, a lot of free transfers release players, a lot of free transfers in. I've rebuilt the young side. Recently, however, the big ones would be Amadou Salifu. Now, a Ghanaian defensive midfielder. That makes two of them. We actually got another one right by his side in central midfield, uh, who is Moses Oger. I like him a lot as well. So the pair of Ghanaians, I think, will work really well as a central midfield pairing. So I brought him in. Tonielli, we needed a new right back. So Dario Tonielli in a free transfer deal. I feel really comfortable with how good he is. And I think he's got the potential to be a little better. We've gone for Dejan Stojan, was that Stojanovic? Some reason my ability to read left me go there. So he's coming down from Serie A and he's good enough to start. He doesn't look amazing, but good potential. Six foot five. I like him a lot. I'm actually going to go with him for this season. We've got plenty of depth at centre back, but I could not resist Marcelo Silva. I think Silva is a very nice little defender for this level. And I'm still a little worried that. You know, there's a couple of weeks left. We've got a couple of really good centre-backs that other teams, especially Serie A teams, should be looking to steal off us. Um, their values are low. They're coming towards the end of their contracts. You know, there's a lot of reasons why this might be the last season for them. So bringing in someone like Maceo Siva is a pretty good deal, I think, on a free transfer. He'll help us cope with their loss if that happens. And if not, well... Siva just sits, doesn't play, gets upset, and we ship him out. So it's almost a no-lose deal there. We've got ourselves in a young striker as well, a nice defensive forward, good heading, decent physicals, good decisions and teamwork. So he is more of a defensive forward than anything else, and he'll help everybody along at the top end of the pitch. He's currently out on loan, but we picked him up on a free transfer. He's only five foot nine, which is a slight issue. Not sure if he will be able to uh, grow or not. So he's going down to Serie C where he should be playing. He didn't cost very much. I'm hopeful that he turns out to be a good player. We also brought in a, f a loan deal. Now we're not paying anything for insignia i don't even believe we're paying wages we're not so roberto insignia is a total free player for this season yeah i didn't manage to get a two-year deal i can only get a one-year deal i think he offers us a good option up front i'm happy there and also ac milan released andrea casaraghi um you know good player he is a good, good player. So, we're just hoping that he can do something for us. I don't know if he's related to any of the famous Kasaragis. But I believe he'll be a, a decent prospect up front. I mean, he's got a few bits quite nice already. Composure decisions there off the ball. They're all fairly decent for his age. Acceleration, pace, balance, that's not too bad as well. There's a few nines about like strength, agility, anticipation, 10 in determination, vision, work rate. So he's, he's shaping up quite well. He can dribble, finish, head, take penalties, good technique. I don't need to see too much else from that technical column apart from first touch. I mean, that's something I'd want to see. Maybe a couple of points in passing over the next two years. But really, if he can develop his physicals and his mentals, I think he could be a really nice player. And he's been developed at AC Milan, never got in their side. He's come down to us as a young player, so that's one to watch. That's kind of what I've brought in, guys. There's been a lot of free transfers, a lot of young players, players not really for the first team yet. Um, going out, Fabiani was a backup. We don't need him. So, good to get some money for him. Uh, all these players out on freeze, including some big players here. So, 
Pastrini, he's a good defender, but there wasn't a space for him and we could do better. Bergamelli, exactly the same. Um, Plasmati, exactly the same. Miletti, good young midfielder, but just not progressing. Um, and actually, I tried to offer him a new contract. He wanted too much. He kind of, you know, went to the press about what his agent did or something. Um, there was just a big falling out, so we get rid of him. Uh, Russo, too old. Totolano wasn't going to make it. Um, Pelagatti wasn't going to make it. Ferrario, towards the end of his career, probably at this level. I don't think he can cut it in Serie B, Serie A, so time to get rid. We had better options at centre-back. Our first choice right back, Desiderio Garufo. 400,000 out to Carpi. And this is why we needed a new right back. I feel that is a very good deal. Now, he had a good season for us. 33 games, 1 assist, 7.03 rating. Um, he's gone to a rival in this league. I like him as a player. But I don't feel that Tonelli is much difference. And in fact, mentally, I think he might have a little bit of advantage he is younger as well so moving forward i think that's a good deal for the club that started freeing up a bit of cap space uh, in terms of wages as did all these free transfers of players that were not going to make it you can see as well a lot of these youngsters i just didn't feel they were developing enough and bustos came in got a couple of red cards he can go back out. We've got better options. And Salifu is more than capable, in my opinion, of replacing him. A um, couple of players there out on loan as well. Andrea De Rossi, a young right back who just... If you look at him, I don't have a lot of confidence in his abilities. So 42.5k, I think, is a great deal out to Pichenza. Then comes the big one. Fabian Ronaldo out to Juventus they weren't interested at first but um, yeah we, we kind of engineered a bidding war for him with a couple of Serie B teams and I think a ser one Serie A team and then we just sort of kept offering him out and kept editing bids and uh, you know trying to get a bit more money and a bit more money and finally Juventus came in at five and a half which, to be honest, I was hoping for somewhere north of five. And he is a fantastic player. He's coming into his prime. They got him fairly cheap as well for what he is. But I had one eye on the wage budget and one eye on the transfer budget. And I want to develop this club off the pitch as well as on it. So five and a half million there. We, we've got a couple of central midfielders I like and some youngsters coming through. So... That's pretty good. A lot of that money sadly did go to a third party, which I didn't realise until it was too late. But uh, basically until the deal was done. So that's our big deal out. And then just some youngsters. So that does leave us with a first team squad that looks a bit like this, guys. So in goal, Stojanovic and Messina. I've got my fullbacks, Tonielli and Bruschkagin is back as a left back again this season. We're going with Norbert Gyomba and Alexis Rolin, and Rolin could definitely play Serie A. Gyomba could play rotation in Serie A, definitely. So if they, if they do go out, I've got Marseille Silva and Abel Gili to play centre back, and Andrea Mel to play as well if I need him. So I've got three centre-backs, even if we do lose, uh, do lose our two big guns. Excuse me, I had to cough there for a second. So, really, I think we've got good depth here. We've got Tino Parisi, a good young right-back. We've got a couple of options as well in the reserves for defence. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with our ages. I'm happy with the depth. I'm happy with the first-team players. And we can still make some money. We can get three and a half to four for Rolin. We could probably get a mil and a half for Norbert as well. So, you know, that would take eight and a half grand up the wage budget as well. Another two and a half for Rolin. So, if it happens, it happens. I'm not worried. 
But if we can keep them for this season and get promoted, they will be worthy of a Serie A um, sort of role. They will be a good partnership at that level. And Stojanovic, if he can develop, he could be there with them. You can see in centre midfield as well, we could have another two Serie A type players. Moses Auger, Amadou Salifu, the Ghanaians in central midfield. We're also looking down then to attacking midfield. Now, Risotto, player of the season last year, he keeps his role in that central attacking slot or central attacking midfield slot. He's already showing it in two cup games why he needs to stay in that central role. So he's come up big for us. Khalil moves from striker last season onto the left of the three and plays second striker from the flank. It's not affecting his goal scoring, as you can see, so I'm happy with him there. And George Alonso, he's fallen off a little bit from last season. He's 31 now. He might be starting a decline, but he holds his role from last season on the right of the three. I do have youngsters to take their place. Up front, of course, we're still banking on Ray Menage coming up big. This is a big target man with a lot of potential, a lot of ability, and we're really hoping for big things. Now, if we do get promoted, I would look to maybe snap up Insigne, because I think he could be a good player for us. And again, he's young. It would give us two young options up front. He can play attack in midfield. We have also got players like... Oops. Let's see here. Other players that could play sort of Sanieli, Barisic, Palma, Iliari. So there's a striker, three attacking midfielders, two of which can play centre midfield. They've all got good potential apart from Barisic. So he might not make it. You know, he might not make it. Uh, there's a few placeholders in here like Gili and... Parisi maybe, Tonielli, so centre-back's okay, right-back, we've got a young right-back coming through, so I'm not too worried over that side. Potentially good in the first team, that is the team we're going for to start things off. If we do have a quick look in the under-20s, you can see Monzon's still out on loan for a year, we'll be selling him, uh, unless we get promoted to Serie A, uh, which means... He might come back, play left back for us. We're selling Bombagi because I don't believe that he is as good as he claims to be. He was the worst of the attack midfielders last season, despite my assistant liking him. So we're trying to shift him out. Um, Terra will be out after this year. At the moment, he sort of holds a good backup, but we don't want him as a backup. He's not needed. So Petkovic has got a bit of... Uh, a bit of potential, he could turn into a player. But right now, he's not quite good enough. Bastioni, last season's goal goalie, he's out of the club. Musacci, he played for us last year, he's out. They're starting to fall off. Potentially, though, you can see here, Miotto, Ramos at left back, Masek uh, Masic at left wing, and Kusek at striker. So right wing. Uh... Do, do, do we can't change his role. I do want to try and turn him into a centre mid or an attacking mid. I think maybe a centre mid. He's got a lot of potential, but he's just not developed yet. So we'll give him one season to see where he ends up. Um, apart from that, we've got Hansen as a centre back. A couple of striking options here. You know, Kukwain, Winther and Francini. An Italian and two Norwegians there. Charlery at the back could turn into a player. Um, Luciani's there, Casaraghi's there, De Gracia, Rossetti, Cesa. So I think we're covered amongst most positions. Um, I really like some of our depths that we've got. And then when you move down to under 18 again, there's nobody really ready for the first team. They're all sort of backups and uh, cup game maybe we'll, you know, we could trust a couple with... Two of them are out on loan, though. And potentially the same players are really good. So you've got Rossinho, Aluno, and right back of the future from our youth academy, Venerando Aprile. So 
I like him already. He's developing nicely for a 17-year-old. It's not going to be too long before he's ready for the first team. Maybe age 19, 20, he breaks into the first team. We'll be in Serie A and, you know, he can grow with this club. So that was a really nice thing to have him pop up in the youth uh, intake. But really, as well, Ancelotti can do the same at left back. We've got Mota there who can as well. More attacking midfield talent. That is a key part of my setup. I love playing with attacking midfielders. So to make sure we have options going forward there. Up front, you always want at least one good striker. So, you know, get seven or eight good young strikers. Ten good attacking midfielders. And if you're playing a similar formation to me, you need those kind of numbers. Because half of them won't make it at all. Half of the ones that do will have some downside. So you're looking at going from 10 to about 5. And then you might be left with two good ones. So you might have two good attacking midfields come through. Which means you only need to find one more from the first team. And up front, if you're starting with about 8, again you go down to about 2. You can rotate them out, one on the bench, one up front. Those kind of numbers work out well. We just litter the rest of defence and one decent sort of goalkeeping prospect as well. But we've got two good young goaltenders, uh, goalkeepers as well. So it's not too much to worry about. Staff hasn't really changed too much. We're trying to get in a couple more scouts, but we're not having much success there. What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. I'm looking for this. So Puzo, newly in as our assistant. I don't believe there's been too many other changes. Um, yeah, we haven't got a director of football yet, which I thought I was going to do. We might have another couple of scouts in. But I think we've got good depth. You know, The scouting department isn't really that high. Uh, we need to get a couple more bodies in. The physio department is deep. Um, the coaching is good. We've got another couple of coaches. The one that I did want to show was Frank Ravio. Very, very good goalkeeping coach. Only just joined us. And I'm very, very happy there. You can see his preferred attacking formation is 4-3-3 narrow. That's not too far off We are what we are. We're a 4-2-3-1. We're not playing wide, we're playing narrow. So a mixture of that, that's okay. He likes playing... A wide version of what we play so you know hopefully that will help out uh, really though guys that's about it we do have a couple of players on the shortlist and players being scouted but when you look at everything it's all coming together quite nicely we got money in the transfer budget we got wage budget to spare now that we shipped out about six backup players and sold um, one good player was on a lot of money for us so everything's moving in the right direction financially we're starting to make moves there the youth facilities are in progress so another three months before our youth facilities get up i also got the what is it here junior coaching budget i got them to increase that um and also we've improved our training facilities which apparently is costing 4.9 million. If I knew it would have cost that much, I would have said, I wouldn't have asked for it. I would have said no. Um, there's not really too much else that I want to look for here. Let's see if we can get an affiliate. Let's get the scouting knowledge. Having reconsidered, we agree. In fact, we can make some big improvements via this method. Beautiful. So there might be a new affiliate club from a different country. So we've got Sweden, Tunisia. That's not too bad. You know, we can get some good African talent coming through there. We've got some decent options then from Italy. Good loans coming down from Napoli, perhaps. Um, where would we like someone? Maybe a Spain, Germany, UK, somewhere like that. Sort of north to mainland Europe would be a nice option, I believe. So, with that as it is, this video is getting on long enough as we are. So, we are going to quickly play this game against Bari. 
So I need to set up my tactics. One second, I will be right back when that's... Okay, that's what we set up as I change some of these roles about. Um, everybody's playing at full apart from Khalil, who can only play one segment below anyway. Uh, we could get Salifu on a ball-winning support, but that's what we got Ogier on, and they're both exactly the same. They can only play full in ball-winning support. So ball-winning support, ball-winning defend, not the best combination, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to try it out. I'm going to hope that um, they don't push too far up the field. We've changed Rolin into a central defender to max his bar out, feel more comfortable. And... Yes, Dejanovic is a sweeper, keeper, support, but I'm not a fan of that role too much. So we're going to play as goalkeeper. It's not too far off. So, first off, let me save the game. Okay, and we need to give out one squad number. That's Insigne. He can have number 19. So... A draw wouldn't be a bad result. I'll take a draw right now. I will take a draw. So, De Grosso is a good fullback, and uh, Rosotto could pull the strings. You can see here, anybody they know, Marvo, is that? It is Sylvain Marvo. Ooh, okay. Interesting little trick with Tista they've got there. De Grosso as well done that side where Alonso might not be doing the most damage but it also pulls their best defender way away from Khalil which I like so let's set up these okay and then a team talk good luck out there today I have faith in the defense I have faith in the midfield and I have faith in the strike force. Well, that's not bad when I guess my attacking midfield trio there. And Alexis Rolin, our best central defender. So that is... That's going to be quite useful. That's going to be quite useful. So let's start the action then. Our Serie B sort of... Um, yeah, our Serie B campaign. I hope this game doesn't take too long. I want to keep these videos a bit shorter, sort of... Between 25-35 minutes at the most, so I'm not sure I like that target man support role, however, so Let's see what else he's got defensive forward That would still be a support. I want an attacking role Lead a line open space. I think that might that might be slightly better and he might put in a few less challenges as well if he is up front so that might work we're looking for Khalil to come in and do some damage from that second line Risotto looking good Minaj looking good Tonielli on his debut will pick, uh, pick up another booking come on ref book him as well there we go so another team talk here and we can't do Tonielli which is a shame. Toninelli would be a good player to tell to calm down. He's in defence. He's booked. He was a bit indisciplined for a while. So yeah, we do need to uh, pick up this action. Everything's on as much as it can go. So let me boost up the speed. A little bit and see if we can't get things done a bit quicker I don't think it does too much during game sadly but after the shaky start I'm fairly happy with what we're doing uh, I, I'm a little bit disappointed let me take the speed boost off or maybe not off maybe back down to five times and there we go. Filippo Pocari with the seasonal opener. He scores in front of his home fans. And it's not exactly the start I wanted. Salifu not playing well. Giomba not playing well. 
the dropping down to 6.6s and yeah so I'm not too worried about this game but I'm going to demand more from players and a frustrated striker on a booking I hope he keeps his discipline I really hope he does keep his discipline up front so oh come on now both full backs so they can attack down the flanks now so when we look at it that way you know yeah look at that Odra Tusalifu Ghanaian central defensive midfielder to a Ghanaian central defensive midfielder and just like that it's one all and this team might take a little while to gel and the tactics might take a little time for them to get used to and I don't know guys I don't know but really I'm fairly happy with how how this team is sort of looking on paper we're not doing well we're not doing well there though like defensively the first goal we let the man go second goal there that was kind of terrible and I need to make changes here so 50 minutes in I'm not happy with how things are looking I want Minaj off Insignia will come on as a false nine. False nine. It might be a bit crowded there for a false nine, but it could open up gaps for Khalil. I'm, I'm conflicted. I think we're just going to go for an advanced forward role because it is one that I do like. If I were to put you in midfield, you'd do well as a shadow striker, wouldn't you? And Khalil could go back up front. Yeah, we're going to try that. We're going to try that. We're going to play Insigne in midfield. Cause, um, and he'd actually be a better advanced playmaker. So he could be an advanced playmaker. Let's change these up. Support. Attack. No. I want... Yeah, I want Insigne on attack. I want I want Alonso to keep his, his support role. So we're going to change that man up front. Hopefully give us a bit more impetus up front. Um, we get a booking off the pitch. I think we need to get another booking off the pitch. I'd love to get Bruce Gagin off because he's not playing well. But we can't. We, we just don't have a left back. So I'm actually going to go over the other flank and put Tino Parisi on instead. Is he a limited fullback? He is. That suits the way my defence is playing. And I don't care. I'm going to put Rolin on limited defence. So let's keep that together. Ball winning defence, ball winning support. They seem to be working quite well, but I don't think that there's enough. So, yeah. Oje can be a deep lane playmaker. Defend. Salifu can go on ball winning midfield support. That's a nicer combination. We're not losing too much. We've got an 8 and a 10 instead of two nines, And I'd rather have my best player playing well. So he'll do a lot of the running in midfield. Oje will protect the back line a bit more. So Tino Parisi. I have faith, seems motivated, good. Insigne, show me what you got today. Confused and demotivated. So what if we're underdogs? We come back from 1-0 down, it's only 2-1, we've got 40 minutes left, we've got a good side, and you're getting your debut for the club. Why the hell wouldn't I expect a performance? Get the hell out of here. Oh, Roberto Insigne's just pissed me off. His time at this club is not going to be good if he's going to have that kind of attitude. He's not going to last long. He needs to go out now and really show me something. Because otherwise, he's not even going to make the bench. I don't give a damn. I don't care if he could win us a few points this season from the bench. I'm just not happy with that kind of attitude. We're not supposed to win, so I'm not going to play well. Oh, Khalil, unlucky there. 
Insigne does feed the ball through to Khalil. That nearly paid off. Good save by the keeper. But we're not far away from getting this equal. As you can see here, we're gaining a lot of possession. Sadly, that this is going to be a long video. But we are going to try and cut down the time of the videos as we move forward. Like I say, under half an hour. More towards 25 minutes is where I want them. So... Maybe we're going to have to cut the gameplay out. I don't think the gameplay is that exciting anyway. So if you feel one way or another, guys, let me know down in the comments or on Twitter. My Twitter handle is out there. It's in the uh, description of the video, at Chris Army. Let me know, do you want to see gameplay footage or do you just want to see... You know, would you be happy with roundups? Good work from the midfield there, see? Insigne, Khalil, and we get the equaliser. That combination there of Insigne and Khalil has combined now twice, and we've got our goal. So, I was about to make a change. The goal is not going to stop me. It's not going to stop me. But if you do want to see more of these games, let me know. If you want to see more roundup videos and shorter videos, you know, have your say. Anything else as well, the signings I've made, all that kind of stuff, go nuts in the comments. Give me feedback. Give me ideas of who you want me to play. Um, if there's any players like some of these youngsters, Ilari or, you know, even Connor Smith. I think Connor might be coming on. But Ilari's a good youngster, look good off the ball. Should I give him a shot in attacking midfield? Say if Alonso isn't cutting it and all this kind of stuff, guys. You let me know what you want to see me do with this team. And uh, I'll take all that on board. But Twitter is a good way of doing it. And so is... Oh, I really want to take Bruce Geek off. So is the comment section. I'll get back to you very, very quickly on that. And make changes. If I haven't recorded the next video, I will make changes for that next video then. Because we're all in this together. We are all in this together. Right, Marseille Silva, where can you play? You can play centre-back. And that is it. Gili. Come on, Gili. You can play centre-back. Okay, so... There's not much I can do with that. I don't think Parisi can play left-back. Anyway, so... Yeah, the, he's competent, so... The best option now, if we can't find another, another left-back, is to play Parisi at left-back for... The rest of this game, I really, really want, I really want Bruce Gagin off. So Alexi Rolin could be the best option there then at left back. Unconvincing, yeah. So I'm just going to slide Rolin over. I'm going to move Gyomber over there because we're going to fit in a Uruguayan next to Rolin, so they're both Uruguayans, that might make his time a little easier there out on the left flank. Siva comes in alongside Gyombe, Parisi holds down the right flank, and defensively we've not been good enough, both fullbacks getting booked, not showing enough. Salifu and Auger in midfield doing a good job, Insigne's done well since he's come on, I don't know what he was complaining about, there are points to be won in this game. Khalil went up front and did a good job there, so... Inverted Mumbado, just fullback support. Really? He's more comfortable as a fullback support. Why not? Oje will be covering you. Yeah, Oje will be covering you. Insigne there is pushing on anyway. Go give him some support. Alexi Rolin wants to go up the field. He's got decent acceleration and pace. Why not? Let. Okay, assertive. I have faith. Deep in thought. It's the last minute, boys. It's the last minute. It's the last minute. Pump ball into the box. Hit the early crosses. Shoot on sight. Exploit the middle. Um, higher tempo. Oh, my God. Um, be more expressive. Roam from positions. Get stuck in. Like, just... Whip those cross. I don't know. I don't know. Pass in a space. Why not? Let's just go for it, boys. 
Let's just go for it. Can we nick a win right at the end? Their defence in a little bit of chaos over the last 20 minutes. Can we actually get the ball up their end of the field and make it count? We've got Insignia, we've got Khalil, Risotto pulling the strings. I know players are tired. Can we get the job done? Please? Corner? Oh. No. It breaks down. We had a corner at the end there. Unfortunately, we couldn't get too much done. But uh, in a game like that where we were, you know, we weren't the favourites. I think we played well. And yeah, unlucky today, boys. Unlucky. Anybody deserving of an individual team talk one way or another? I don't think so, really. Yeah, I don't think so, really. So we're just going to leave that as it is. We pick up a 2 on draw away to Barry. End up with more shots, less on target, but more possession. So we didn't start off the best. We finished quite well. And it's promising signs for life in in Serie B. So I'm going to cut out some of that footage, guys. I'm going to do a few cuts in editing to bring this down because at the moment we're up over 50 minutes. That's not going to cut it. So we're going to go down. I'll cut out a lot of that footage and um, yeah let me know how you feel about me reducing the footage and editing just showing results um, maybe even simulating the game we do have the instant result button do you want to see more of that just so we can concentrate on developing the side rather than watching a 2d match engine sort of kick the ball about because I'm happy to do that on camera off camera whatever you guys want to see so let me know on Twitter at Chris Army here in the comments have your say Go nuts, go wild with any suggestions. Nothing's off the table. Who do we sell? Who do we buy? What weak areas do we still have in the team? Do we give some youngsters a chance? Etc. Nothing's really off the table as far as suggestions are going. Now, whether I, did, whether I implement them or not depends on how realistic and how sort of it fits with my management style. But things are going well here and i'm hoping that it continues to go well so i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you're enjoying our journey up through the italian leagues and uh, i've been chris Ormi playing here football manager 2016 with catania elefantastico and uh, i hope you come back next time until then though guys you take care and get back to me on what you think should happen